Do you have questions related to your technical case? The Juniper Support Portal can help you request a meeting with the Juniper Networks Technical Assistance Center, or JTAC, to resolve your queries. As a customer, you can schedule a virtual meeting or a phone call based on your preferred date and time and the JTAC engineer's availability. Note that the earliest a meeting can be scheduled is 24 hours in the future, and the latest it can be scheduled is 14 days in the future. Customers are recommended to use direct phone calls to engage with the JTAC teams for priority one cases. Welcome to the Schedule a Meeting video. In this video, you will learn how to schedule a meeting for your technical case and how to edit and cancel a scheduled meeting. Navigate to your case details page. When you click Posts and Actions, you'll see the new option Schedule Meeting is now an available tab selection. Click Schedule Meeting. Select the required meeting duration and click Next. You can select the meeting type to be either a virtual meeting or a phone call, call back. If you select virtual meeting, you have the option to choose between a Juniper Zoom meeting and a personal meeting link. If you choose Juniper Zoom meeting, Juniper will provide the meeting URL link. If you choose personal meeting link, you can provide your preferred meeting details, including Teams or Zoom URLs, credentials, and access codes. If you select phone call, you should review or enter your callback telephone information, which includes your country details, phone number, and extension. In this example, you navigate to the virtual meeting, personal meeting link section, provide the necessary details, and click next. The Select Meeting Attendee section allows you to select between the case owner and any available engineer to attend your meeting. In this example, you select Case Owner and click Next. It is recommended to schedule a meeting with your case owner as your first choice. If you cannot find a suitable time slot with your case owner, you can select another available engineer for your meeting. You can see your case owner's available time slots for your meeting. Notice that the time slots reflect the duration you selected for your meeting. The time zone section defaults to the time zone you set in your My Settings page. This section allows you to change the time zone to your preferred setting. If you want to set a standard time zone for your future meetings, it is recommended to set your preferred time zone in the My Settings page. If you schedule future meetings, the time slots and timestamps will default to this preferred time zone. You no longer need to change it every time. The calendar option allows you to navigate between wider date ranges to see your case owner's availability. Note that the earliest a meeting can be scheduled is 24 hours in the future and the latest it can be scheduled is 14 days in the future. You can look for your preferred time slot for the meeting. In this example, you select a time slot based on your case owner's availability and click Next. The Review Meeting page appears. You can find the start and end time and duration of your meeting in the Scheduled Time section. Notice that the time zone you set in the My Settings page or the Service Appointment page appears next to the Start and End labels. The Contact Details section provides your contact details. You can enter the reason for the meeting in the description box. Note that the Meeting Details field in the Review Meeting screen is dynamic and will only appear if the user has selected Personal Meeting Link. For the other selections, virtual meeting and phone call, it is not relevant. After you review your meeting details, click Next. A message appears indicating that your service appointment is scheduled. Click Next. After you have successfully scheduled a meeting, you and your allocated JTAC resource will receive a meeting invitation via email. Note that the phone call option follows a similar process for scheduling a meeting, except for the meeting links. Navigate to the related section. 
Notice that the meeting you scheduled appears in the Scheduled Meetings section. This section shows only the meetings scheduled for this case. Note that you can schedule only one meeting at a time, per case. Navigate to the Posts and Actions section. A post about your scheduled meeting has been created, documenting the meeting details such as the user who requested the case, the JTAC engineer or case owner who was assigned, the meeting duration, the meeting description, the meeting URL link, and so on. The post also notifies your allocated JTAC resource to review the details of the meeting and to complete the meeting on the requested date and time. Post messages are dynamic and are based on the meeting type. Everyone associated with this case receives this post. Navigate to the home page. The scheduled meeting section displays all the upcoming meetings related to cases visible to you. You can find the meeting that you scheduled a while ago. You click the View All Meetings button to view all your scheduled meetings. You can filter your meetings list using the upcoming, past, canceled, and all options. You can also navigate to the Cases section and click the View Scheduled Meetings option to view your meetings list. Although any users related to the case can view and join the meeting, only the user who scheduled the meeting and specific Juniper employees have the permissions to edit a scheduled meeting. Navigate to the related section of your case. Click the View drop-down option in the Scheduled Meeting section. The service appointment details appears. Click Edit Appointment. A notification appears indicating only limited modifications are possible on scheduled service appointments. If you wish to edit the appointment duration, the appointment type, or the meeting type, you can cancel the existing appointment and schedule a new meeting. Click Next. Select the desired new time slot and click Next. You can update your description to add or change details if necessary. You can also update your meeting URL link and phone number if you prefer. After you update the necessary details, click Next. A message appears indicating that your service appointment is modified. Click Finish. Navigate to the Posts and Actions section. You can see that a post has been created documenting the change in your scheduled meeting. The post includes your updated meeting details. Although any users related to the case can view and join the meeting, only the user who scheduled the meeting and specific Juniper employees have the permissions to cancel a scheduled meeting. Navigate to this service appointment page. Click Cancel Appointment. You can specify a reason if desired and click Next. A message appears indicating that your service appointment is canceled. Click Finish. Navigate to the Posts and Actions section. You can see that a post has been created documenting the cancellation of your scheduled meeting. The post includes your updated meeting details. You can now easily schedule a meeting and edit and cancel the scheduled meeting. If you need further help, you can chat with the Juniper Digital Assistant. We are excited to have you join us on our support transformation journey.